Hey, Prime Six Foundation Math Projects, this is Coach Seifel with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to go into the second last question of your assessment paper, um, which looks a bit more complicated than usual. So let's go in depth right now. Okay. So the question says this, Ivan spent one fifth of his savings on a shirt. He also spent one tenth of his savings on a book. Now the question is part A, what fraction of his savings was left? Okay, so let's not even look at the $15 yet because they never even asked that yet. They only said what fraction of his savings was left. So what do you understand by this? Basically, right, he has a bunch of savings. Okay, he has a bunch of savings over here. I'm going to draw this, okay. And they said that they use, he used one-fifth. One, two, three, four, five. Basically, you say you use one fifth of it on a shirt, okay? And then he used one ten. Okay, now how do we make this look like a ten? Again, very simply, all you have to do is divide each part by two, and you will get ten pieces if you take a look correctly. So they spent he spent two fifth. I mean, he spent uh, two over ten or one fifth on a shirt, and he spent another one ten. So it's here on a uh, book. Therefore, the answer is actually what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 7, 8, 9. One to 7 over 10. 7 over 10. Okay? But how do we do this in working format? Very simple. Okay? We take 1 big hole, which is 1 of his savings, minus 1 over 5, which is the one in blue, and we minus 1 over 10, which gives you what? It gives you... Um, one is, what is 1 fifth? 1 fifth is actually the same as... 2 over 10. Therefore, 1 minus 2 over 10 minus 1 over 10, which means that 1 minus 3 over 10 also equals to 10 over 10 minus 3 over 10, which also equals to 7 over 10. And that is the answer for part A. Got it? If you got it right, high five. You are a math fraud. Good job. Okay, now the second part says this. The second part says, the shirt cost $15. How much did the book cost? So, just now we saw that the, the, the shirt cost $15, right? And the shirt actually cost 2 over 10. Oh, sorry, sorry. We actually saw it's 1 over 5. 1 over 5 actually equals to $15. So, the question is asking you indirectly, if 1 over 5 is $15, why is 1 over 10? That's what they're asking you. So in this case, 1 over 5 can also be translated into what? Times 2, times 2, you will get 2 over 10. So now you found out that is 2 over 10 is equal to $15. In other words, 2 units equals to $15. 1 over 10 equals what? Yes, that's right. Very simple. 15 divided by 2, which gives you $7.50. So is the question asking you for the price of the book? The question is asking you for the price of the book. Yes. So the book costs $7.50. If you got it right, high five, you are a math prodigy. Good job. And that's that, That's all there is to it. Yeah, Fractions that you can't go, I mean, it, that you can't go very far away from the normal questions. You just have to make sure they look the same, the denominator is the same. That's all you have to remember. Okay? So, like I said, you can practice all you want and you must believe in yourself because I believe in you. You are a math prodigy. Good job.